What's going on guys, today's review will be the 2007 series, and this one is, Total Drama. How much I remember watching this Teltoon series on Cartoon Network since 2007. The show is currently airing on Cartoon Network in the United States, and Canada, formerly known as Teltoon, Boomerang, originally aired on ABC TV, ABC Me in Australia, Jetix, Disney XD, Pop, Pop Max and CBBC in the UK and Ireland, and currently streaming on Netflix, Max, formerly known as HBO Max and Discovery Plus, Hulu and its beta on Disney Plus, ABC iView in Australia, and BBC Player in the UK and Ireland. Chris McLean, a fair but also pretty cruel and sadistic host, hosts the entire series alongside his tough, no-nonsense partner Chef Hatchet who also cooks and serves the usually revolting food for the competitors. Each season revolves around a group of teenagers competing in an elimination-style competition. In that the contestants compete in challenges both as teams and individually for rewards and immunity from elimination. The teams merge roughly halfway through the competition. As the contestants develop relationships with each other, they are progressively eliminated from the game. When there are only two contestants left, they compete in a final challenge where the winner is awarded a cash prize $100,000 in the first season, $1 million from the second season onward. The challenges that are presented range from pretty mundane to completely insane. The writing for this show is pretty solid for the most part as each episode is pretty well paced, does provide some excitement and entertainment with all the various challenges, manages to be pretty funny as well as suspenseful and does a really solid job at spoofing elimination-style reality shows like Survivor. However, it's not perfect as it can be easily predictable at times regarding who gets eliminated. There are some lame things that happen. And it does take a bumpy rise and dip in quality regarding a specific season. Most of the seasons range from pretty solid but do have a few hiccups like Island, Revenge of the Island, and Island 23 to good but do have some serious flaws like action and world tour, to being a mixed bag with an equal amount of good and bad things about it like Pocket Island, to flat out lame due to so many bad choices and wasted potential like All Stars. The show has a pretty solid sense of humor, and while not all of the jokes land, most of them do manage to get a solid laugh like some of the witty banter and dialogue between the characters, the more wacky situations they get into depending on the challenge the gags and slapstick, and the adult jokes and innuendos, and while some of the toilet, bodily humor can get an occasional laugh, it can be pretty unnecessary at other times. The challenges do provide the show with some excitement and entertainment. They can range from pretty mundane like preparing a three-course meal, trying to stay awake, performing in a talent show, to more exciting like intense games of dodgeball and I triple dog dare you, drag racing, and surviving a real-life horror movie, to completely insane like eating gross foods, surviving against fierce creatures and environments, and other various life or death situations. For a show called Total Drama, there is definitely some drama and conflict presented like backstabbings, arguments, and broken friendships, relationships. Most of the time it works, but at other times this can get grating. The animation is pretty solid and does have an appealing look to it and it does improve as the series progresses. The characters all have pretty solid designs and some decent movements despite some limitations, the backgrounds are serviceable, and there are some solid effects like the fire, water, and explosions. The characters are a solid mix of ones that we root for, and those who we root against, though sometimes it can be for the wrong reasons, and they do go through some derailment. Chris is a pretty solid and likable host because even though he can pretty mean and sadistic to the competitors, and is mainly doing the job for the fame, he's usually pretty laid back and chill, and usually when it comes to the challenges, he is mostly fair regarding the winners of the game, but he can be a bit too sadistic at times, and is maybe a little crazy. The same can also be said for Chef Hatchet. Even though he's more tough and no-nonsense compared to Chris, the players themselves do play their parts well, and they can range from being pretty likable like Owen, Gwen, Beth, Duncan, Tyler, Lindsay, Bridget, Jeff, DJ, Cody, Sam, Izzy, Harold, Leshona, Noah, Trent, Sierra, Brick, Zoe, 
Mike, Dawn, Dakota, Cameron, Joe, Ella, Jasmine, Sammy, Sean, Sky, Bria, Bowie, Lauren, and Millie, to serving their roles as solid antagonists that we love to hate like Heather, Eva, Justin, Courtney, Anne Maria, Lightning, Alejandro, Scott, and Julia, to those that are pretty lame like Leonard, Rodney, Topher, Dave, Stacy, Max, Ezekiel, and Katie and Sadie, to very unlikable for the wrong or right, reasons like Amy, Scarlett, Blainley, Sugar, and Ripper. The voice acting is pretty solid, and all the various voice actors throughout the show's run do give some pretty great performances. The music in the series is pretty well done, and it does capture the show's wild and over-the-top tone. Overall, despite some huge flaws, this is still a pretty solid series that is worth checking out. I would definitely say my top recommendations in terms of seasons would be Island, Revenge of the Island, and Island 23. But if you do plan to start off with Island, make sure you watch the original version as the US version that aired on Cartoon Network were heavily censored. Anyways, if you're a fan of those reality shows like Survivor, this is a pretty affectionate spoof, and also, if it weren't for this show being a huge hit on Cartoon Network, we probably wouldn't have gotten all the shows that sparked its renaissance in the 2010s like Adventure Time, Regular Show, Gumball, or Steven Universe. The show in every season says its titles, Season 2 was named as Total Drama Action, Season 3 is named as Total Drama World Tour, Season 4 as Total Drama, Revenge of the Island, Season 4 as Total Drama All Stars, Season 5 as Total Drama, Pocket Island, and Season 6 as Total Drama Presence, The Redonculus Race. Some of the seasons might be good, and some of them might be bad. In 2023, it was announced that Fresh TV, Cake Entertainment, Chorus Entertainment, and Cartoon Network are teamed up with BBC to make a revival of Total Drama Island. Hopefully it will be the same as the 2007 Total Drama Island. And what is my verdict on this tell tune? I'm giving it an 8.5 out of 10. Sometimes Total Drama seasons can be bad, and have bad characters that some users hate them. But hey, it's everyone's opinions on them.